Hello, hello guys. Good evening. Here we are for a wonderful Wednesday. Glad you could make it for a fun show here, whether we're watching on the VOD or you're lurking back in the background on the VOD on live stream. Here we are. Glad to see you. Hello guys. We have some fun plans tonight. We're going to get some Jurassic Park right off the bat. Then we're going to show some good gameplay from Overwatch and Hunt today. And then we'll be getting to some Dishonored 2 or maybe some Good Love for Dead for the first time in a while. Or uh, more Hunt. We shall see. We'll see how we feel. We'll see how it goes. We'll check it out. But welcome in for now for a wonderful Wednesday two days of September for first year streaming and then we shall have a good week off for some mobile streams, some mobile games, some beach streams, some animal streams, that kind of good fun. And we're looking forward to all the good stuff. So let's uh, dive right into some Jurassic Park and enjoy our fun stuff here on this lovely evening. Come on in and chat and enjoy a lovely Dragon Series. Big shout out to the Solaria Ann last night for the resub. Thank you to Aran. Sorry, thank you to Hero the Protector coming and chatting from Hunt. Thank you to uh, Ray from Targaryen Alliance on Marvel. I am about to install this other uh, emulator, try to run that tomorrow for final day. Before we head out, try to get some good ISOs on the Discord bot and such for the game. Before we head out for a whole week of streaming it mobily, so that will be helpful. And thank you as well to uh, Mo coming in the chat, Dragon Champion Mo, playing some good games with him today. Some decent hunts, some good wins, some losses, you know, it's back and forth, a good motion for that. So we've had some good balance of that wins and other <laughs> times it doesn't go out, but that's the nature of the game, so it's been pretty fun. So thank you for chatting there, Mo. Thank you for supporting, and thank you to other chatters as well. Jay Carranza for chatting yesterday. Appreciate you guys chatting there. Was able to take care of my family business in the evening, took care of all that, and here we are for fun stuff here today. So this evening, got some good gameplay for you, good recording today. A little, a few rounds here and there, a little bit of Overwatch, a little bit of Hunt. And here we are for the rest of the night on a good stream, at least a solid three hours, I'm hoping. And tomorrow we'll try to get on as early as possible for our very final day of September. And for other good fun for our sessions and good things. But we're focusing on what matters, focus on the positive. Really have these good titles for the stream, focus on what is really important, positive, good communication, good community, and <coughs> relationship and attitude. So we'll keep that up, going to be great. Let's dive right in, as I said, for some Jurassic Park for now. You guys want the uh, soundtrack as usual I apologize I shouldn't do that tonight because uh, frame drop has just spiked to 10% out of nowhere so and are not not exactly cooperating it was okay the way, oh, I am on the worst Wi-Fi though so let me connect on the good Wi-Fi I keep having to check that manually I'm not too sure why it uh, switches off by itself now and then so I'm back on a good one a frame drop uh, drops a bit here while we read we had a short chapter last time so we'll maybe read a little more today and then have the full stream tomorrow for some other stuff as well. So maybe we'll read two chapters here tonight. We'll see how we feel. And the Wi-Fi connecting for that hopefully is a little better. Frame drop will even out. It's at 10% though, so I probably shouldn't be opening Chrome and YouTube streaming the background audio for you guys. We'll take a little break from the Jurassic Park soundtrack just for this time. Just to read a little better. Hope that frame drop will continue to calm down. I don't think I need to restream or such. I mean, we just, just, <laughs> just got started, so hopefully... Uh, calm down a bit on its own, but we shall see some other good stuff, some other good fun. For now, though, let's uh, just enjoy, tune in, read some good Jurassic Park, as is, let it calm down. Welcome in the Wondrous Wednesday, second to last day of September 2021, first year streaming. Fun stuff. Let's continue on Dragon Juice. Here we are for Jurassic Park. Left off, in a way, Hammond said, we've been very, very careful about making sure nobody knows about it, until the day we finally opened that island to a surprised and delighted public. On to chapter, Target of Opportunity. Right there. Okay, I hope that frame drop continues to calm down. Here we go for now. Target of Opportunity. The Biosyn Corporation of Cupertino, California had never called an emergency meeting of its board of directors. The 10 directors was now sitting in the conference room were irritable and impatient. It was 8 p.m., they had been talking among themselves for the last ten minutes, but slowly had fallen silent. Shuffling papers, looking pointedly at their watches. What are we waiting for? One asked. One more, Lewis Dodgson said. We need one more. He glanced at his watch. Ron Meyer's office had said he was coming up on the six o'clock plane from San Diego. He should be here by now, even allowing for traffic from the airport. You need a quorum? Another director asked. Yes, Dodgson said. We do. That shut them up for a moment. 
A quorum meant that they were going to be asked to make an important decision, and God knows they were, although Dodgson would have preferred not to call a meeting at all. But Steingarten, the head of Biosyn, was adamant. You'll have to get their agreement for this one, Lou, he had said. Depending on who you talk to, Lewis Dodgson was famous as the most aggressive geneticist of his generation, or the most reckless. Thirty-four, balding, hawk-faced, and intense, he had been dismissed by John Hopkins as a graduate student for planning ge genotherapy on human patients without obtaining the proper FDA protocols. Hired by Biosyn, he had conducted the controversial rabies vaccine test in Chile. Now he was the head of product development at Biosyn, which supposedly consisted of reverse engineering, taking a competitor's product, tearing it apart, learning how it worked, and then making your own version. In practice, it involved industrial espionage, much of it directed toward the engine corporation. In the 1980s, a few genetic engineering companies began to ask, what is the biological equivalent of a Sony Walkman? These companies weren't interested in pharmaceuticals or health. They were interested in entertainment, sports, leisure activities, cosmetics, and pets. The perceived demand for consumer biologicals in the 1990s was high. Engin and Biosyn were both at work in this field. Biosyn had already achieved some success engineering a new pale trout under contract of the Department of Fish and Game of the state of Idaho. This trout was easier to spot in streams and was said to represent a step forward in angling. At least it eliminated complaints to the Fish and Game Department that there were no trouts in the streams. The fact that the pale trout sometimes died of sunburn and that its flesh was soggy and tasteless was not discussed. <laughs> Biosyn was still working on that, and the door opened, and Ron Mayer entered the room, slipped into a seat. Dodgson now had his quorum. He immediately stood. Gentlemen, he said, we are here tonight to consider a target of opportunity, Engine. Dodgson quickly reviewed his, the background. Engine startup in 1983 with Japanese inventors, the purchase of three Cray XMP supercomputers, the purchase of Isla Nublar in Costa Rica, the stockpiling of amber, the unusual donations to zoos around the world, from the New York Zoological Society to the Ranthapur Wildlife Park in India. Despite all these clues, Dodgson said, we still had no idea where Engine might be going. The company seemed obviously focused on animals, and they had hired researchers with an interest in the past. Paleobiologists, DNA, phylogeneticists, and so on. Then in 1987, InGen bought an obscure company called Millipore Plastic Products in Nashville, Tennessee. This was an agribusiness agri company that had recently patented a new plastic with the characteristics of an avian eggshell. This plastic could be shaped into an egg and used to grow chick embryos. Starting the following year, Engine took the entire output of this millipore plastic for its own use. Dr. Dodgson, this is all very interesting. At the same time, Dodgson continued, construction was begun on Isla Nublar. This involved massive earthworks, including a shallow lake two miles long, in the center of the island. Plans for resort facilities were let out with a high degree of confidentiality, but appears that Engine has built a private zoo of large dimensions on the island. One of the directors leaned forward and said, Dr. Dodgson, so what? It's not an ordinary zoo, Dodgson said, this zoo is unique in the world. It seems that Engine has done something quite extraordinary. They have managed to clone extinct animals from the past. What animals? Animals that hatch from eggs and that require a lot of room in a zoo. What animals? Dinosaurs, Dodgson said. They are cloning dinosaurs.
The consternation that followed was entirely misplaced. In Dodgson's view, the trouble with in Dodgson's view, the trouble with money men was that they didn't keep up. They had invested in a field, but they didn't know what was possible. In fact, there had been discussion of cloning dinosaurs and the technical literature as far back as 1982. With each passing year, the manipulation of DNA had grown easier. Genetic material had already been extracted from Egyptian mummies, and from the hide of a quagga, a zebra-like African animal that had become extinct in the 1880s. By 1985, it seemed possible that quagga DNA might be constituted and a new animal grown. If so, it would be the first creature brought back from extinction solely by a reconstruction of its DNA. If that was possible, what else was possible? The mastodon? The saber-toothed tiger? The dodo? <laughs> or even a dinosaur? Of course, no dinosaur DNA was known to exist anywhere in the world. But by grinding up large quantities of dinosaur bones, it might be possible to extract fragments of DNA. Formerly, it was thought that the fossilization eliminated all DNA. Now that it was recognized as untrue. If enough DNA fragments were recovered, it might be possible to clone a living animal. How about that? Give subs, give subs. Back in 1982, the technical problems had seemed daunting but there was no theoretical barrier. It was merely difficult, expensive, and unlikely to work. Yet it was certainly possible if anyone cared to try. Engine had apparently done, decided to try. Yeah. What they have done, Dodgson said, is build the greatest single tourist attraction in the history of the world. As you know, zoos are extremely popular. Last year, more Americans visited zoos than all professional baseball and football games combined. And the Japanese love zoos. There are 50 zoos in Japan and more being built. And for this zoo, engine can charge whatever they want. $2,000 a day. $10,000 a day. And then there is the merchandising. The picture books, t-shirts, video games, caps, stuffed toys comic books and pets pets of course if engine can make full-size dinosaurs they can also make pygmy dinosaurs as household pets what child won't want a little dinosaur as a pet a little patented animal for their very own engine will sell millions of them and engine will engineer them so that these pet dinosaurs can only eat engine pet food Jesus somebody said exactly Dodgson said, the zoo is the centerpiece of an enormous enterprise. You said these dinosaurs will be patented. Yes, genetically engineered animals can now be patented. The Supreme Court ruled on that favor of Harvard in 1987. Engine will own its dinosaurs, and no one else can legally make them. What prevents us from creating our own dinosaurs? Someone said, nothing except that they have a five-year start. It'll be almost impossible to catch up before the end of the century. He paused. Of course, if we could obtain examples of their dinosaurs, we could reverse engineer them and make our own, with enough modifications in the DNA to evade their patents. Can we obtain examples of their dinosaurs? Dodgson paused. I believe we can. Yes. Somebody cleared his throat. <clears> throat> There wouldn't be anything illegal about it. Oh, no, Dodgson said quickly. Nothing illegal. I'm talking about a legitimate source of their DNA. A disgruntled employee or some trash improperly disposed of. Something like that. Do you have a legitimate source, Dr. Dodgson? I do, Dodgson said. But I'm afraid there is some urgency to the decision. Because Injun is experiencing a small crisis and my source will have to act within the next 24 hours. A long silence descended over the room. The men looked at the secretary, taking notes. 
and the tape recorder on the table in front of her. I don't see the need for a formal res resolution on this, Dodgson said, just a sense of the room, as to whether you feel I should proceed. Slowly, the heads nodded. Nobody spoke. Nobody went on record. They just nodded silently. Thank you for coming, gentlemen, Dodgson said. I'll take it from here. Alrighty, I think we can do our first double chapter here tonight. Fun stuff. On to airport. Let's check out airport. Lewis Dodgson entered the coffee shop in the departure building of the San Francisco airport and looked around quickly. His man was already there, waiting at the counter. Dodgson sat down next to him and placed the briefcase on the floor between them. You're late, pal, the man said. He looked at the straw hat Dodgson was wearing and laughed. What is this supposed to be? A disguise? You never know, Dodgson said, suppressing his anger. For six months, Dodgson had patiently cultivated this man, who had grown more obnoxious and arrogant with each meeting. But there was nothing Dodgson could do about that. Both men knew exactly what the stakes were. Bioengineered DNA was, wait for wait, the most valuable material in the world. A single microscopic bacterium, too small to see with the naked eye, but containing the genes for a heart attack enzyme, strept, streptokinase, or for ice minus which prevented frost damage to crops, might be worth $5 billion to the right buyer. And that fact of life had created a bizarre new world of industrial espionage. Dodgson was especially skilled at it. In 1987, he convinced a disgruntled geneticist to quit Cetus for Biosyn and take five strains of engineering bacteria with her. The geneticist simply put a drop of each of the fingernails of one hand and walked out the door. But Injun presented a tougher challenge. Dodgson wanted more than bacterial DNA. He wanted frozen embryos. And he knew Injun guarded its embryos with the most elaborate security measures. To obtain them, he needed an Injun employee who had access to the embryos, who was willing to steal them, and who could defeat the security. Such a person was not easy to find. 69. All right, all right. Dodgson had finally located a susceptible engine employee earlier in the year, although this particular person had no access to genetic material. Dodgson kept up the contact meeting the man monthly at Carlos and Sh Charlie's in Silicon Valley, helping him in small ways. And now that Injun was inviting contractors and advertisers to visit the island, it was the moment that Dodgson had been waiting for, because it meant his man would have access to embryos. Let's get down to it, the man said. I've got ten minutes before my flight. You want to go over it again, Dodgson said. Hell no! Dr. Dodgson, the man said, I want to see the damn money. Dodgson flipped the latch of the briefcase and opened it a few inches. The man glanced down casually. That's all of it? That's half of it. $750,000. Okay, fine. The man turned away, drank his coffee. That's fine, Dr. Dodgson. Dodgson quickly locked the briefcase. That's for all 15 species. You remember? I remember. Fifteen species, frozen embryos, and how am I going to transport them? Dodgson handed the man a large can of Gillette foamy shaving cream. <laughs> that. That's it? That's it. They may check my luggage. Dodgson shrugged. Press the top, he said. The man pressed it, and white shaving cream puffed into his hand. Not bad. He wiped the foam on the edge of his plate. Not bad. The can's a little heavier than usual, is all. Dodgson's technical team had been assembling it around the clock for the last two days. Quickly, he showed him how it worked. How much coolant gas is inside? Enough for 36 hours. The embryos have to be back in San Jose by then. 
That's up to your guy in the boat, the man said. Better make sure he has a portable cooler on board. I'll do that, Dodgson said. And let's just review the bidding. The deal is the same, Dodgson said. 50000 on delivery of each embryo. If they're viable, an additional 50000 each. That's fine. Just make sure you have the boat waiting in the east dock of the island. Friday night. Not the north dock where the big supply boats arrive. The east dock. It's a small utility dock. You got that? I got it, Dodgson said. When will you be back in San Jose? Probably Sunday. The man pushed away from the counter. Dodgson fretted. You sure you know how to work the... I know, the man said. Believe me, I know. Also, Dodgson said, we think the island maintains constant radio contact with engine corporate headquarters in California, so... Look, I've got it covered, the man said. Just relax and get the money ready. I want it all Sunday morning in San Jose Airport in cash. I'll be waiting for you, Dodgson said. Don't worry. Alrighty, it's on to chapter Malcolm. Malcolm's introduction, besides just mentions of him. For the next time, we'll get to a bit of that tomorrow. Early stream tomorrow. Alright guys, uh, let me show you the gameplay from today. Before we get to some new adventures with Dishonored 2, Left 4 Dead, or Hunt, whatever we decide to do. But for now, we have some Overwatch to show first here. Some fun times, the new map, a few things like that. Let's take a look. Alright, alright. Uh, Wondrous Wednesday. Let's see what we got here. Alright, this one is 1426, yeah. Exterminate. That doesn't sound like the first one. This is the first one. Oh yeah, this is from yesterday. Did I show that? I don't remember. <laughs> Did I show this to you guys last time? Uh, we'll just go through it anyway. That's just recent stuff. So. Alright, so yeah, the new map. Still trying to figure out what instruments that is. The nice new theme song for it. It's pretty cool. Do enjoy that. So, I really don't remember if I showed this or not. Just this yesterday. Yeah, just Ryan Hart round at the beginning. Nothing special. A little hog, a little Winston. Nothing special there. Yeah, it's a nice opening theme song, though. I do like that. I just don't know what instruments it is, because I'm really curious, you know, sometimes instruments. Alright, then this was... Other myth of day, other stuff. I think that was... Oh, that was today. This was today. Okay, so yeah, just regular FFA. I like the little grunt mode and such. Pretty cool. FFA fun, you know, not a big deal. <laughs> silly thing. Alright, let me move on to, uh... There's the nice theme song, pretty nice. So this was a good FFA to start off. Let's take a look at that. Start off with Echo here. Echo to the action. So I'm trying to get used to the new FPS. I'm used to the game being much slower. That's how I used to play it, so it's a bit, a bit faster pace now. It's a little different. Yeah, multiple people there. Of FFA, you know. Almost had her, she has one HP there. Bastion here, almost have him. Two to one HP. That's alright. Maybe have multi ready here. Let's see how this duplication for McCree. Happens to me. After the Bastion shoots. 
one, right? Right there, I kill him right after he kills me. It's fun with that. And then I get tanked. <laughs> Tank comes in there. Switch to Sigma. Barely get him 15 HP at this point. Then they get me on the side. Get Tracer. Bastion and Genji. Get it before the fairy gets it there. Very close one. It's a bit easier to play when the latency isn't fluctuating at 300, so you can at least move properly. It's not rubber banding. It's not having a tough end connecting. I kill myself there, so I lose a lose a point. Have a tank advantage. See it on the final four kills. Just looking for the bastion. You know, make it a kill. Bob here in the corner. Get a little absorption. Krieg and Arab. Get sliced. I switch to Junkrat for the final couple kills. <laughs> That play of the game actually goes to Ash. All right, I moved on. Got a happy in the game. So yeah, it's FFA for Crazy. quite a while. Trying to get the uh, I can say just a phone call real quick. How do you do? Yeah, I don't know why. Watch your step. Oh, it's been on for a while. I don't know what's going on with this. Yeah, I'm having mad. Like... Gotcha, gotcha. Right, right. Yeah, that's fine. Doesn't matter. Now traveling to Petra. Oh, hopefully, yeah. Thank you. 
<laughs> yeah. That's a 5v6. <laughs> Approaching greetings. Three, two, one, one. fight. <laughs> My teleporter is online. Assemble and incoming! Alrighty, all back guys, showing you a bit of that uh, 6v6 you live at the moment. The team's basically just giving up the enemy team, so it was easy for us there. Yeah. Plugging up torches. Gladiator, gladiator. Yep. Oh, there's the play. Pretty good, man. Got the play. Hey, what's up? Finish what are you guys doing? here. We just finished. And the hog. Stand a chance either. And then just an AFK. May I basically pin mm -hmm. after she gets shot with Ferris Rocket? I don't really know how that worked out, but <laughs> good fun, you know. So then we had our group. We had a uh, defense uh, mystery, I believe. Didn't go too well, but do what we can. <laughs> and then we go on to the next. Uh, Imagination is the essence of this. 4v4, yeah, 4v4, finishing the uh, so some decent stuff here and there. Gotta stay alive, try to get their mercy and other things. Their mercy kept reviving, but we were just able to get, maintain the, the lead pretty easily. So that was nice of uh, Started with little Winston, switched to Sigma. After I. How did I dump off? Yeah, I just. Trying to avoid the devil. And I basically. Don't look where I'm jumping. <laughs> That's what happened there. Then we fight this Reaper. We going back and forth, back and forth. And big side jump, signal there. Get this uh, Ash at the very end here. Yep. Carry on. Oh yeah, they're trying to Mercy trying to kill Fern Happy while he's junk rattled. Him. So I just use the kind of grasp to cover for him. This retreat here. We shield. I still try. To the rock there, I get 10 HP killed by dynamite, but it doesn't matter at that point because we got enough kill. Good damage, good fun. And that's it for Overwatch for today, I believe. Yep, we left off with that. So we can dump those, make some more room. We really don't have much room. Let me, let me show you guys. I have. Hundred twenty-two, so yeah, room here and there. All right, then we went on to hunt. So fun stuff that one yesterday with the uh, funny position there it didn't really help at all. The guy shoots from over here, but it's still kind of a fun area just to try out, you know. <laughs> so that was interesting, just that little recording during the stream yesterday. All right, so then we started here. Yep, this was today. So we start with Moog. We had a duo. I decided to buy the. Death's Breath, my 974 blood bonds saved up, so I got Death's Breath. Decided to shoot it at the very beginning of the round here with Black Coat and Carcass Gunrunner. That was not very smart because we have an early spawn literally right next to us. They're fighting us and they sparks me. And Moog is not able to recover from other team, also flanking. Early spawn, many shots, so he gets shot by other team, who knows where. So we were not able to recover from that early spawn. But that's just how it goes when you shoot at the very beginning sometimes. I just try to celebrate the new gun. It's not a good idea. <laughs> then we get our Legion, first uh, trio partner right away. From the Discord. Start with this Mosin. And... Claw. Or, no. Mosin and Chain Pistol Fanny. I do not get to use either. 
We wait a long time in the compound. We have Mo dying in the big, or Legion. Legion gets headshot at the beginning by uh, Sparksman. I see these guys. I do not have good footing. That one on the right already sees me. I shoot the one on the left. I get taken down really quickly. So that doesn't help when Mo gets blown up. The dynamite right there. We have a funny moment because he's trying to shoot these other guys, other sides. And then they throw dynamite from the right side on the left. He has nowhere to run. So we have a good laugh over that. <laughs> All right, and we carry on to the next one. I use a backbone on Prodigal Daughter, my Halloween ice gun there. Just gonna try it out on a crossbow. So here we fight the assassin, we banish the assassin, and we wait for them to come in. It's a lot of back and forth. I throw the dynamite just to use it. I cannot really tell where they are. I just hear them outside, and I still can't tell where they are. Where they kill me, this door opens multiple times here. We just keep opening it, and I keep like putting in our fire and stuff like that. And then they just basically flank me from some weird angle, but didn't really get to use my <laughs> weapons, just one of those rounds of so it's back and forth a lot of that. And I hear them out there, just never actually saw the crown and king that came to end both of our runs from our city. It's one of these doors here, one of the angles. I don't know where it came from. I didn't even look at the kill game, so I have to remember to do that. Really yeah, I was gonna shoot the flare point. Let's see, I get shot by by that. Uh, let me see how far away it was. Ten meters, so yeah, pretty close. And then, uh, let's see what happens after that. It's the crown. I spectate Mo watching. Legion here also gets shot in the back of this one, or next to him, right next to him there, on the other door. And Moog tries to knife, doesn't quite uh, do it yet. They shoot him once, taking almost all his health, like 100 health, and then he dies. So, then we're on to a night map. I have slugs and fire pistol here. Good other hunter. I shoot these. Oh, yeah. Shoot the dogs there and try to look at the nice night map stuff. A few things. Let me at least see the dogs here, yeah. There's those dogs. I decided to shoot the dogs. The fire bullets. I want to at least have a chance to see the fireball. <laughs> Sometimes I don't get much sight. So side yeah, right there. Shoot the dogs. And then I see Mo getting shot from the window here. Actually, see it happening, so I'll show you that. Um, yeah, I believe that's yeah, Moog infiltrating pretty deep without us. Definitely not behind him or anything. So that's not like the first time that happened tonight, but no hard feelings, Moog. <laughs> yeah, I know you like to infiltrate, you know, safely sometimes. Oh, yeah, fun around. So, yeah, I see the window, the flash from the window, shoots him down right there. The flare not really affecting anything. Wait a bit. I try to go choke him eventually, but before I know it, he is burned out really quickly there. Just me making my way over. I toss it a second before he burns out. Not that it matters much, because then we're, uh, we're on the side. I'm trying to see these guys. I do end up seeing them right here on the fence. I shoot him, and once with slugs, Caldwell doesn't kill him. Sheriff on the right side there. Headshots me. Legion tries to throw another stuff. He gets shot between the freaking fence. He tries to throw the hive and gets shot. Yeah. Let me move on to this one. Now we start our win streak, turning the luck around here. We start out with this uh, Mosin Labelle Marksman. I'm sorry, this Labelle Marksman because extra gun getting ready to prestige. So almost ready to prestige. Use that money. We just keep winning at the times when I'm ready. Oh, yeah. So this is pretty much the most amazing moment of the night. They are both down. I'm trying to get good cover here, trying to sight them, see if they come outside, if they bring them outside. The other team fighting the Butcher here. It turns out to be a duo. I wait for them to run outside or something. I keep thinking I hear someone on the ladder or something next to me. It's just some other weird ambiance in the map, you know, or monster or something. I can't really tell what it is. So one of them drops, and the other drops. Both of them shotgun or such. And then I decide, well... Gotta do what I can to save them. So, traverse the roof. And watch.
watch what happens from here. We'll get a good highlight of this perhaps. Or in the future, when I'm able to video edit better with DaVinci Resolve, make some better YouTubes, I will uh, add this to the to the collection. But this is the only time I can actually show it on stream, so. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so basically, they both get down. And I go to rescue them. I guess we'll just show it a couple times because of drop frames. So this is the first time. Second time, we'll have more commentary consistent with actually reviving it. So yeah, I see them moving several places several times. But, uh, Smile LaBelle. Okay, so at this point, they didn't actually know I was here yet, so that definitely worked to the advantage. I never shot, I never did anything to give myself away as me just trying to find a good sniping position to find them. That's what I was trying to play that round, so. So they don't actually know I'm alive. They think it's just another duo at this point. And yeah, they're walking past, aren't you there? I decide, well, good time is any. And I wait for that little boss noise to make a little noise. I disarm the trap, open the door, go for first partner on the ground. Tell them to lay low, get back and heal, just stay in stealth basically. In case they are close enough, I revive. Next partner, same suggestion, and then I go to cover this side. Then they wait for banish. trap there. They went somewhere else. I don't know why the team just left there, but that was obviously their main downfall. They're like, what? There's people here? And they just went to the side trying to cover that angle, I guess, from probably other hunters incoming. They thought, oh, they'll cover that side. Oh boy, did that backfire for them. So you hear them out there. There's a guy who walked right into that trap because I did not even look at the ground or anything. That's their other trap, so I go ahead and put that. Quick med kit up. They already threw dynamite at that point. Close up. You see one out there? I decide I'll try my luck, see if I can take them on. Grab the bow. I miss my shot. She hits me. Point blank with bow. Able to avoid any wall bank or such. Still shooting. I heal up. I still see them out there. I uh, scratch out of time. And they finish both of them. Just like that. <laughs> so I hope it was a meat shield at that point. <laughs> That's man, about it. That was the revival. Obviously, the most important thing. So, one more time. Way around the compound, slaughterhouse, butcher. I try to snipe them. It does not work out. They get down. I go to them, sneak past them, see the, see the enemy and the compound moving around. They decide to go cover another angle. So, they're running right through there. They think they just killed another duo at that point. But it's trio versus duo. So, I pick up the partners. We get the bounty. I have a meat shield. They kill the other two. <laughs> That's that. We get on out. And we get out. So that was pretty fun stuff. <laughs> I had funny moments with that, so. Pretty fun, unique moment with that. Similar to when other partners died, and I killed a bounty, and resurrected them, and we ran away. This time we killed the bounty, so it's a little more exciting. We kill the other partner. They kill the other partner. I just kind of enabling them to have a day to get away from that, so worked out pretty good. And I know interaction with both those four stars, but it worked out good for what it was. All right, one more time for the highlight reel, because this is a pretty unique situation. Go to snipe, partners get down, I go past the other two, I revive my partners, they kill the other two, and we're good. 
<laughs> Pretty fun. Alrighty. And we went on. Carry on. Same partner. We go to the cell. We think we hear someone there. We do not actually see anyone. We go up to Pelican. We go to Red Butcher. We're fighting. Did not quite get out. No time to the hit. Stop completing. Finish Butcher. Steal the Banish. They're trying to frag and stuff still. I'm doing the same thing. I'm trying to see which side they're on, which angle it is to build up. So I just go ahead and toss it. Going back and forth. And I'm not there. I go to the left side, and I see this guy in the horse field. He's right there. I hit him once, LaBelle. Not quite hit him again. Farther down, that is uh, Legion. They're levering their craziness. I gotta get him up real quick. All these things. Fighting back and forth, shotguns and craziness. Laying low just for a second, trying to maintain cover and help a legion. Bo kills the one up top, wherever they are. And I go for the one I saw in the horse fields because I know he's still there. I'm able to wall bang him right here. On the roof, he's on the roof, yeah. So I hit him there, right there. Hit him once, and run around the corner to finish him off. And that works for what we need. That's the one I showed out earlier. He has his sparks, so he did not get anything with that. And I take that, try it out a bit, and we go on to other dogs, other stuff. We go on to extract, we get down from the armor. And we just mess around a bit at spawn. <laughs> Funny stuff, you know, at uh, extract. Alright, so now we're on to the next round. That sparks. We get the solo spider. We banish that. I try to wait up here, see if I can get a good sniping angle. Not really. But I try. Then I decide to move forward, because if they're coming from that direction, I can cover them better. Oh yeah, everybody killed themselves this round, so we just run. We just run and uh, we have a little... Yeah, it's basically a free round because solo bounty, everyone killed themselves off the bounty. So we just had a free solo bounty. It's pretty funny. But yeah, that's how that went. Then we move on. Another one here. So we have uh times here. This is the one we go to four. Yeah. Get clean weapon. He takes a quick AFK break. Comes back. I get hived in the tower. Still waiting here. Trying to fight other sides. And there's the guy inside in the corner. And I see this one right here. I shoot at him. But when I trap right away. Try to be careful. He's to walk into my trap. They're about to banish. Pick it up. I walk around on the other side here to side. To get better angle there. Or oh, that's shot. I guess that's outside. So there's someone behind me there. I just don't notice it. So I focus on this guy. I miss the sparks. He sees me. I finish him. And I get sniped right away. From behind. That's the guy behind who I just didn't notice at the time. I hadn't put my headphones in at this point, so that probably would help in the future. But yeah. And they fight it out. Back and forth, back and forth, burning. Fanning, uh, Moog able to kill them, uh, yeah, the, the pretty good guy who sniped me runs into them, and this guy runs into my trap that I placed there, so he kills both of them just like that, and we're clear. <laughs> good stuff, Mokes, you know, that is a good moment there, kills both attackers, and yeah, good fun. <laughs> Alright, and we carry on for new partner, Galileo here, that was the end for Legion today, or so far at least. We uh, right here, this early one, I get the bounty, and I, I have a feeling now we should run the other way. These guys are on the other side, we have extract the other direction, we should really just run. But, you know, I'm just kind of antsy about it. So I hit him there, he gets down, I necro him. Get shot again right away. And, uh... That's it, don't worry about me. 
got one bar left. I get fragged. <laughs> <laughs> then uh, Gallo tries to fight, he gets oh, fragged. No, just, yeah, it's the weird sound effects here, it's pretty weird. So he gets fragged on the face, he kills one guy, then the other one dual wheels him with that weird silence poison or something. Yeah, frag that's right by him. He kills the plague doctor, but dual wheel silence finishes him off. So that is the way into that. Plague doctor versus plague, another plague doctor. And my friend Craig's on the other side. So we go to a new round, try a Winfield, another shotgun from earlier that I got. Another one, just the Carter shotgun. So we have Scupper spawn and oh yeah, <laughs> this is nasty. We go to church. Yeah, we go from Scupper to the church. Mo runs in, gets killed. So really, he's all the way up there. We're not even close to him really. So that didn't work out. We fight back and forth quite a lot. Frag shoots. Uh, yeah. Um, Jello Gello gets down there. I decide to go underneath Necro them because we just found Necro from the clue on Scupper. So uh, I get Gallo out right after they burn him. He says, good, they won't be looking. So he's right up in the fire. He maintains stealth. Then I run to Moog. Also Necro him. And they shoot him right away. Yeah. Heal. Go back and forth. <laughs> Not the best, you know, for shit. I can't really headshot him, so I get down there, I sticky bomb the stair, trying to. And I'm out of health at that point, completely out of health. So I should have brought more health, but. Yeah. I'm all burned out. We stay here a little bit, back and forth. They throw pretty close. It's in the building, basically. They just headshot me right away. <laughs> so that's that. Jallo tries to fight a bit more. And he gets shot in the window. Yeah. Alright. That's that. <laughs> I decided to go bow. Last round for now, I believe. Yeah, the good ones earlier. This one. Nothing very good from my end, but we try. We to fight a lot of teams here. And I get shot in multiple areas. Down many times. The entire server converging on the spider here, even though we were able to. Yeah, infiltrate pretty early after another team was here. And uh, just a lot of back and forth and shots. And we'll run out to the end, but yeah, still a good job to my team. 800 kills. And that is that. <laughs> yeah, I didn't get any kills that time. <laughs> All right, pretty good stuff there. The main highlight, getting my teammates up when the duo didn't know it was a trio. That's kind of the main highlight for the night, so good fun for that. Well, let's move on to a bit of Dishonored 2 for now. Got to highlight some of that, delete them to make more space, you know. Uh, Dishonored, Dishonored, no, not hot dish. What is this? <laughs> All right, Dishonored 2 looking good. Let's carry on some new adventures, some pretty fun stuff today. Yeah, the main real highlight, just picking up the partner so they can kill him. And I had a few good runs here and there, a few good kills, but, you know, still learning, still enjoying it. And it is a bit easier with a better ping off stream, but I still don't mind streaming and dealing with the rubber banding here and there, so. It's just a balance of all that, so we'll see. Okay. On to Dishonor. Good stuff. Alright, so yeah, the main one, revival, little highlight, we'll put that in the eventual highlight big reel just for fun. Uh, big video editing on the YouTube fun. But let's move on to some more progress, some good stuff here tonight. Here at the one hour mark, one hour, two minutes, twenty-two seconds. We'll carry on dishonor two. Alright. Let's see where we left off for this. Have some other good stuff. Corvo, September 24th, five days ago. Yep, Dreadful Whale, on for the next main mission. That's it. 
let us see what else here. The travel log. Yeah, this is it for the Duke's Palace, what I've heard one of the best and most fun favorite levels of many players for that so Confer with your allies. I mean it's just one of the better whales, so better one of the better <laughs> levels. You've eliminated most of Doke Luca Bell's key accomplices. Talk to your allies about the Duke before departing for the Grand Palace. Alright, to the Grand Palace we go. Extra things. Right. Got those weird bone charm crafting. Just got the one for now for two powers. Nothing really special, just first playthrough, it's only hard mode. Just get a few for it. Before we play, let's be lost here together for a moment. More playthroughs, and uh, yes, the spirit of Jessamine is. Departing. We have to do that final mission to defeat Delilah. Go place their spirits out of this. Why do so many have so little? Okay. It was never meant to be this way. Interesting. Dark vision, you can't really tell when it's frozen or not. It all looks the same, but that's how it's designed, you know. So they're up on the deck. Nothing in the mess hall here. I can't believe it's taken this long for someone to go after the Duke. Another aristocratic boss living in a palace and sucking the marrow out of the same people who built it. Seals. Okay, take a look. Hope it looks alright for you guys. All set, technically wise. Alright. Feel the executioner's block has been a fine motivator for many a ruler. Note from Paolo. Don't worry. One of my people watched you for a while, but it means nothing to us. Whoever you are, you won't hear from me again, but you did the howlers a favor. Coming in, getting rid of the vice overseer. Those abbey pricks were out for my blood. Now, with Byron shuffled off, anything's possible here in Karnaka. A city run by the people of the alleys, the waterfront streets, the mines. Not like under the Duke, where only the palace born got a share of the good stuff. Anyway, I don't know whose side you're on, and I don't care, but I wanted to give you a little something for your trouble anyway. So. I killed most of the Howlers and the Overseers, because once I freaking crossed that stupid boundary line, they were just instantly hostile, so... Uh, I don't know what he gave me, but... Alright, Paolo, I guess I didn't actually kill him, then. I killed the other, uh, helpful girl earlier, but... I never liked the Abbey. <laughs> never liked the Abbey. I guess Duke of Bell felt alright tearing down the old palace. I have fond memories of that place. I hope Paolo can revive the spirits of the people in Karnaka. Alright then. Let's have that right down. There's the crazy duke. Alright, I guess we'll see. green muck is. Yeah. Alright. Let's see. Anything extra to do here? I don't think so. I've already done all the heart murmurings and readings from uh, Sokolov and Captain. Doors, places 
that's a lot. I think there's extra things here, but... I was even checking the ocean for extra things. I do have greater dark vision now, though, so... That'll make things significantly easier. Greater dark vision will show objects, other things of interest, so... Maybe we can try that out a bit. Extra objects. I'm not noticing initially. Nothing in the ocean, I'm assuming. Brief me up, yes sir. Okay, pretty interesting though. Nice city, yeah. Evening here, I guess. Start of the evening, maybe. Pretty cool. Alright, may as well then. Start briefing. I've broken into palaces before. They're made to keep out armies. Stopping one man with hatred in his heart is another story altogether. Killing off Duke Abella is only part of the puzzle. You've also got to find whatever it is he's keeping for Delilah. You were cryptic about what you gleaned from visiting the Dust District, which is fine. The world is better with a hint of mystery. But once you're inside the Grand Palace, whatever you do could affect things in Karnaka for years to come. Remember that. Everyone who crosses my path on the way to Duke Abel is going to regret it. They all deserve to bleed. <laughs> all right, <Corvo. laughs> yeah. Meet me at the skiff. It's likely that the palace is trashed. They say the Duke lives like a 12-year-old tyrant. <laughs> if we make it all the way back to Dunwall, there are some things I need to tell you. All right. Let's see. Corval, very bloodthirsty in high chaos this time. I hope I've been of some help to you. It's good to feel useful here near the end of my time. Look at you. You've aged better than most, Royal Protector. I hear the Duke's wine cellar is exquisite, if you happen to pass through. <laughs> I remember when you took me from Caldwin's Bridge so long ago. Sweet at Dunwall Tower, complete with a laboratory, a 
finest apparatus in the aisle. I decline, of course. I'm not some conjurer from penny novels. Besides, I have a great fondness for my privacy. And my interests often find me coming and going in the odd hours of night. It's hard not to consider what might have been different had I plotted a different course. Dining room, grand throne chamber, Duke Abel's office, private garden, Duke Abel's chambers, elevator, and stairs. Quite the elaborate, yeah, seven different floors or so. The floor plan, I can't even zoom in. All measurements. Apprentice property of consulate. Yep, yep. Well, we shall see, huh? We want to look at. Uh, I just thought there might be stats so far. Oh, there is stats. Current mission, a playthrough. <laughs> oh, man. Global ratio. Fresh that when you're doing clean hands or ghost, you know. Just hard save. Yeah, we had 17 hard saves or something like that. It's a pretty weird number. It's like 17 hard saves. But that's all right. Yeah. Those are similar enough. All right, let's get started. Should we head toward the palace? Yes, indeed. Let's go. It's funny, even in that little cinematic, he's using the spyglass without having the mask on. <laughs> little one, continuity, but it's just a little extra thing. It's not a big deal at all. As bad as some continuity errors I've seen. Self-serving and corrupt, Duke Luca Abel rules through Konos and orchestrates the coup against you. Into the Grand Palace to find and eliminate the Duke, who protects himself from assassins with a body double. Ha! That'll be interesting. You must also locate Delilah's spirit, the only means of counteracting her immortality. Replace that somehow with just a means or so. Interesting. Well then, this'll be a big one. A big one indeed. Good one. At the palace, the Duke has a localized body double meant to confuse assassins. A friend of mine washes the linens and said the devil is a smoker, if that helps. Smoker. Maybe you can talk to him. She says he's a nice guy. What a shitty job, pretending to be a tyrant like Duke Luca Abel. Why don't they just overthrow him? He's got an army, control of the mines, and he's had your support from the capital. At the Duke's parties, People carve up the country while eating boiled crap. There were parties like that in Dunwall. Toadies sucking up to Emily. Made me want to be back on the streets in Sirkonos. 
You're forgetting what that's like. I washed those party lights from the roof of the abandoned butcher shop where I slept. In the flooded district. I know you struggled. After years of court, I'm a nobody again. But what I've seen here will stay with me when I return to Dunwall Tower. Being in Karnaka again has given me perspective. Good. After you've eliminated the Duke, find what he's holding for Delilah and take it. When you're finished, I'll pick you up in the skiff. Alrighty. So, the reason I'm uh, moving around so much the mouse is actually carrying over to my second monitor. I do not want that. I don't know how to prevent it. It must be an alt-tab thing or something. But if I start clicking while I'm trying to be on the screen, it'll be affecting Streamlabs. So I'm not too sure why this is happening, but it's never happened before, so... Alright, it's fixed now. I alt-tab fixed it, so just remember not to alt-tab as much. So I'm to... Alright then. Sorry. Okay. Megan Foster has a friend who sometimes works at the Grand Palace. There's a big spot of smoker and is much nicer than the Duke himself. Makes sense, right? <laughs> if I sound bitter, don't turn your back on the Duke. After we leave Karnaka, I'll get you to Dunwall. But then I'm done. You won't hear from me again. Back to Dunwall. How about this, uh, sunset? Very nice. The choppy sea. Very nice. It's all invisible walls, so didn't get very far. Maybe right forward is how to pick it up. What's the delay getting it to the shop? So Betty afraid we'll get caught. The owner of the shop is nervous. But if they just let us move it straight off the boat. Now, I got a friend over at the shop. Been running protection for black market shops for years here in Carnival. Drago! And over Hello, Drago. Thank so you for starting out for chat universe. tonight. Hail friend, yes, hello, hello. Drago Eternals, so yes, some good streams lately. How have they been, Drago? Welcome in, my friend. Yes, indeed. Thank you for starting off our chat, man. Hope you had a good week so far. Last week of September, first September streaming for you too, right? Or definitely good stuff. How do we get in this boat? <laughs> trying to figure that out. Rainbow Six Siege again, very nice. How would that go, Drago? How you doing? Or just see that it is locked. Delivery boat key needed. I wasn't done talking to Megan yet either. I was just admiring the sunset. I happen to go here. So excellent week to be honest. Well, that is good to hear. Good news. Positive. You start any shit around here, we're jumping in. I tried living up in Driscoll for a while. Too damn cold. Shitty food. Really? <laughs> showed there were seven people who boarded a car room, but when the skiff pulled into the bay, he was the only one on it. Hmm. You don't mind, huh? <laughs> he made a big show of embracing the old widow to hide that he was tugging the silver brooch out of a jacket. All right, well, we'll get that key at some point, I hope. Unless it's just sitting here. There's some good stuff in there, so... We'll find a way. Unless there's an undercarriage. Uh, probably not the underside of it. Maybe one more scan for... Several things in there. there. Must be a way in there. I mean, a way to get the key. All right, let's go back to Megan because I was not actually done talking to her yet. <laughs> oh boy. 
sometimes as a switch is he who cooks dinner for the servants. They don't know it's Pandesian Aura he's been feeding them. Gonna be on the humid side for a while. You got a bit of a cough. <laughs> Nothing serious. Cutting up giant fish. Why does she want that apartment? Dust everywhere, no matter what you do. All right. Hey! Carcophony! I should have bought crossbow bolts, but I haven't been to the black market since before, so. Yep, yeah, not too many ranged options right now. But I can do the, the dealer with just the one left, so it works. I don't really need to, though. Ravina Boulevard. Alright. These guys are literally. their backs to me, so. That'll work. Announce my arrival. He's going down in any case. There's no way it would ever prevent you from succeeding by being lethal in these games. At least not so far, so. That I still get adrenaline from crossbow. What's happening? Some magic powers here. What the heck is that? What is this? Oh, it's the tower. They got a tower up there. That's what that is. I've got plenty of rewired tools, so now's the time to use that. Those are electric tracks, probably, so. Or I can disable it, but it's more fun to rewire it. Now, hail down fire. Ah, oh, what the hell? Is that a witch? That's probably a witch. Yeah, that's the most helpful thing I could have done. I can disable it too, but I have all these extra rewired tools. Why not just let them do it work for me? Oh, yeah. That'll make it easy. Oh, that's an entrance there, but I'm still not done talking to Megan, so... I'll see you in a little bit, rest of these things. There's also plenty of bone charms and stuff around here, so I do want to get to those. Keep your eyes Come on, show yourself. We're all waiting Stay for sharp. you. Towers Nothing. aren't getting all of them. Might have a limited amount of ammo. Right, Come here. We need to find something, anything. It's out of juice. That's what it is. If I can find another one, well. I can keep firing. It also wasn't that accurate. It took several shots just to get one, so. I'll take my time with it. No rush here. Yeah, only 10 cross moves you really gotta be smart about. Keep those. Alright, let's see here. Any extra whale oil or oh, there's one in the wall of light for sure. Don't know where that is. That's an easy blockage there. Ah, but here we have another rewire tool. So it does help to have extra of these, but I'd rather not use them all at once, even though I'm finding a lot of extra ones. It does help to use them uh, here and there. Yeah, I still have three, so I'm going to hold on to them for now. I think uh, four or five is the max. Not too sure. If I find an extra one, maybe I'll just put it there, but not really necessary for now. All right. Let me go back to Megan, because she had more things to say. Very full pistol ammo. Very full clock. This whole business has... Huh? Hello.
came from. I kind of get disoriented here. These extra places. Yeah, back to Megan for now. Then we'll continue the <laughs> siege there. Interesting get up you have there. Covering your face. So I went around the water. Yeah, I swam in this little harbor. That Megan was right here. Okay. Just gotta take a really quick break and uh, pick it up right back here with Megan. Let's see what she is saying. That'll be fine. All right, back in just a second. Good to go. Absolutely lovely cell phone times. Thank you so much, Drago, for coming on, starting off the chat tonight. See you in a second.
Alrighty then, looking good to go. Carry on. Back to it. I know not everyone who lives in a great palace is a snake. But it's real easy to get accustomed to eating off silver plates. If you figure out which one is the Duke's double, you might want to see what he knows. You wouldn't believe it. But I could have ended the Duke a long, long time ago. Wish I had now. If something happens and you don't make it back, I might have a go at Duke Bell. When this is done, we leave Karnaka at once. I won't be sorry to leave this city. I've done all I can here. I've earned what I've got, even the scars. Especially the scars. Take care of yourself. We'll be there when you're ready. Alrighty, that's that. Let's continue the siege. Game cannot be saved. There we go. Alright, check it out. So basically I just swam around that, looking at the sunset here in the nice waves. I swam around there, that's how I went. Not too sure where that key would be, but I'll keep looking for it. I feel like it should be close by, it wouldn't really make sense for it to be somewhere far away, but... Supplies there, whatever they're doing there. Another day like yesterday, I think I'll give it up for good. Better off in the void than another day like that. All right, let's see. Uh, yeah, is suicide prevention month or is that next month? In any case, uh, always support the good cause. Him some that depressing talk there. Don't listen to him. Always good stuff worth living for. You never know what great thing is around the corner. So. Great opportunities, great adventures. Keep it up here in the Dragon's Roost for one. Hope to uh, encourage more activity, more community, more support. So keep that going. Join for now. Keep it up. Let's avoid the blood flies. Uh, so yeah, bone charm there. Is there anything else? There's a few things here and there. Let's go this way for now. It's kind of the easiest. Like that'd be a good deterrent for the guard and such if you just lead them through there, but I don't really tried that much. Alright. So, where are all these shops? Oh, Winslow. Save a couple more. Laws change. The Duke's given the Grand Guard leeway to create new fees when That's needed. Guards help. You know who else had a nice shop? A clockmaker. Serafina. Her shop burned down. Yeah, my report said it was probably the Howlers. But no one knows how the fire started. Captain, her brother died in that fire. Sleep inside drunk from what I remember. You got until tomorrow to pay up. Well, that didn't take long. After his shift, he runs a dice game. Of course it's rigged. No, no, no! Murder! Call the Grand Guard! Someone protect me! Guard! Someone! Where'd the other one go? He just ran? That's crazy. Didn't see where he ran to. They were just both up there. One of them dropped down, the other disappeared. Huh. Probably going to get reinforcement. That's weird. Oh, well. Hey. Extra 
extra rewire tool, so now I've only used one for the tower, but we might need all of them for the palace. Overseer murder. Silver spike. Got his apartment key, so I guess his apartment's somewhere out here. Just a tiny shop. That's where the captain just disappeared like that. I really do not know what happened there. Why cover your face? Are you worried oh. someone might recognize what you? What are you covering your face for? Hundred times I thought about leaving this place. Oh, see, cock. see, I told you. <laughs> he struck her in the heart with an axe. While the children cowered in the cupboard. He told them the building was safe and it took a month's rent to the front. He didn't mention the blood situation. Don't know you, stranger. Bad time to visit Karnaka. You should have seen this place ten years ago. Watch yourself with the Grand Guard. They don't oh, like strangers. No, no, you bastard! possession which I did not yet. That's nice though, uh, Greater Dark Vision shows those entryways to those, so could possibly do that in the future. Oh, combination lock here. Don't know what that is. Close the gate behind you after each delivery. Need the code? Speak to me directly, or to Carlos Marletto at Winslow Safe Company next door. Ricardo Marletto. Well, too late for that. <laughs> Already killed the guards there. The gate to the black market shop is locked. Well, I kind of would need that for crossbow bolts and such. Shopkeeper's apartment might provide a safe way around the. Okay, there we go. And the Duke's double. That's. Uh, Show it on the map. It's not, a secondary, not a secondary objective. Good to me. Where that apartment then? Daddy, what he wants. Oh no, no, you bastard! Broke my back in the silver mine. Like, you can't even see these guys unless I'm right there on them. Yeah, that's a pretty low dark vision range. They made it harder to use than the first one, I guess. To be a little more precise with it. I'll deal with these blood flies. A lot of blood flies. I have plenty of pistol ammo, though, so. That'll work. than enough. Let's take a look. 
hardiness for maximum health. Yes, please. We could also make a new one with that, maybe. Let me do a save before that, though. Yeah, nothing I want to backtrack on, so... That'll work. Let's take a look. Bone charms. We sacrifice hardiness. We should be able to use it, right? that are equipped already. Is it in alphabetical order? Yep. Alright, sacrifice. We will... Traits cannot be learned. What do you mean traits cannot be learned? I'm so confused. <laughs> I'm not really familiar with this, so... Um, why does it say traits cannot be learned? New traits to learn. Traits cannot be learned. So only some... Okay, this is a black bone charm, that's why. Okay. If it's a black bone charm, you cannot learn the ability. That's simple enough, yeah. Alright, let's find a good one to replace it with, though. thinking of really is this one because I shouldn't be taking explosive damage in the first place. <laughs> you know what I mean? We have the uh, pot, the extra blink. Let's see what it's called. We have the good redirected blink so it uh, stopping time suspending time really helps you avoid things like explosions, so that should be fine. Greater blink would be helpful, but... Still a lot of runes, we haven't even got all the basic powers, you know, so... Strength, vitality, shadow killer, can I just throw away ones? They're extra. These ones are pretty good for combat. Possession, of course, very useful in many ways. Corpse possession being a new one. Chain host is also new to Dishonored too, so considering it, but we gotta get those runes for now. And maybe Bone Charm Crafting Craft runes would be worth it. But that's a whole four runes just to craft runes, so I don't know. I don't really feel like getting any of these until maybe towards the end, but it's not that helpful. It's just little perks, little advantages, but health would be increased for now. It's good stuff, so. Alright. What happened to this guy? Jeez. It's freaking messed on him. What is that? That's nasty. There you go. Get you out of there. Alright. So, Winslow, the guy ran away. I don't know where the apartment that I got the key to is. just ran away and I still don't know where that captain ran he just must have went straight to the street somewhere where the other guards are nothing useful there oh there he is there he is. talk to him I'm not supposed to say so but the duke's cousin got his safes here who needs more than one safe you might wonder well in this world either you don't need a safe or you need several that's how it is <laughs> Was the combination, but I have nothing to convince him to tell me, so no power for mind reading, so <laughs> we'll just let him uh, be, I guess. No reason to bother him. He will not kill us. <laughs> Alright, this apartment though, somewhere. Maybe the heart can tell us. I kind of doubt that. I mean, the heart doesn't actually read their minds, but it gives you insight. Which is me. He taunts people with his lengthy advice. 
He never tires of his own opinions. No, there is nothing more about him. Not that I can see. <laughs> Alright then. But I've already told you his secrets. Stay hydrated. I've already told you about this man. Note from Petronilla. Allison, I'm taking some hagfish broth to my cousin who's been coughing badly for two days. If you need to spend the night here, you already have your own key and you know you're always welcome. Please be a dear and don't put your muddy boots on the bed. I'll be back tomorrow morning with some pastries. Petronilla Weatherspoon. Musicians. The same musicians. Very nice. My dear little Stefano, your letter frightened me. I think the person who visited you was the outsider. Were his eyes black and oily like a terrible sea on a starless night? That's how you know. He's offered you a gift, am I right? But a strange gift. You think you don't want it, but still you feel that taking it is the only thing to do. And of course he asked for something in return. Sexual favors is what he demanded, am I right? No need to be ashamed, my dear nephew, as I too received his visit when I was your age. Many times he appeared on my bedroom balcony. I was too weak to resist, and that's how I was cursed with an untreatable pox. I can't tell you any more until I see you in person. I hope this gets to you in time, Aunt Lucy. <laughs> Several of the best painters in Sirconis have made my portrait.
your homeland. A bigger, better palace than the one you sailed away from so long ago. Feeling nostalgic? Will you ever be comfortable in Dunwall again? Assuming you make it back? You've seen the suffering here, the decay, but, dear Corvo, would you even have lifted a finger if the Duke hadn't put Emily in harm's way? Be honest now. In any case, I know what you're after. The heart we carry can only hold one spirit at a time. So, if you want to walk out with a piece of Delilah, you better be ready to leave something behind. Yep, Jessamine must take the place. Alright, two runes, nothing really. get lasting bending time. It's like you can't even possess the humans until you get human possession. Uh, it just doesn't work without that. You only get the rats and hounds and such. I'll just get, uh, I mean, how many runes are in the area? That's the thing. There's only one more over there, so I feel like we might as well move forward with, uh, greater bin time. Longer bin time, lasting bin time. Where's the, uh, the clock thing? It's not here. They don't have it anymore. They only had it for that mission. It's just gone. This new mission, so. The Outsider's Clock, he supposedly still has, but he cannot use it at all for this area, so. They mentioned it, so glad I mentioned it, but we don't actually have it, so. That's fine. Alrighty, I think I might as well prove this. Yeah, stop time is good, too, but. Lasting bin time. Well, I do have three, so I will have four, which would be enough for. Wait. Yeah, I'll have four with that next one, so that'd be enough for any base version of these. I only need these. I'd like to break that door earlier. It's just not necessary, so. Devouring swarm, fun. Possession is kind of more for stealth. Wind blast is. And these new ones are pretty good. Looks like. <coughs> They've always been fun. Uh, I don't know which one I would do first between these two for high chaos at the moment. But, uh, yeah, for now, you can always use this. It's longer, so, better chance to interact. It's pretty helpful. Extend the duration. We want longer, make more use of our mana, better power. Seems fine to me. Time is kind of important, kind of valuable, so that'll work. Absolutely. Looking good there. Looking very good there, guys. Alrighty. Now I still have one extra rune, so save that for the next. Is it a curse or a blessing to linger past your time in the world? Anything else around here? I can't become good deeds back on the boat. No exceptions. Either you have the code, or I assume something's off. Here real quick, and we'll come right back there. My boss's orders. Six six zero. The password. That was 
was convenient, huh? <laughs> Unwanted attention, the Grand Guard have doubled their patrols since the Duke's last decree, so we've got to be careful. You know I will do this. You're wasting time. Stuff, good stuff. Uh, let's see what else. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Can't get used to the heat here or the dust. Watch yourself around the Grand Guard. Right. Oh, well, this is the other side where I needed the combination for, so. Now I just need the password. This is a really tough black market. The password and the combination. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I play this some more tomorrow then. Because we're running out of time really fast tonight, unfortunately. So much time. What happened here? Ugh. Stinging bolts. Extra help. Just going to get in there, right? Infested with blood flies. That's what I wanted. I'm sure it's nothing. Someone just heard a dog bark or something. Of course, now we're all on edge. Your mother was right. I should have signed on as an engineer on the wind corridor. I revealed his secrets. 
as we know more. We only need to point the way, help you onto a path. Now, let us be lost here together for a moment. Have I not already told you everything about him? Search the whole place. I don't have time for that. Kill him, I don't know. That's okay. There's stuff in here though. Stinging bolting that incapacitates him. It's the same as sleep dart, except different reaction for him. Next uh, four, so we need two more. That'll work. Absolutely. Ah, Dodd! Dodd and the Parabola lost season. Dodd, he's Michael Madsen, you know, fun DLC, so we'll play those some point or I'll just show a mobile stream on that. <laughs> play them on the Xbox again. That will work, I guess, instead of buying them again, it's kind of silly to waste money like that, so we'll see. Yeah, good picture. Good picture. Give me some respect, guys. from an admirer of Dodd. Hey, look at him. Dear Alfred, I received the book a good find, but I must admit I have my doubts regarding the historical value of the work The Knife of Dunwall, feeling remorse about killing the tyrant Jessamine. As I write, I'm star star staring at this his portrait, 
and I suspect that Dodd always knew destiny was guiding his hand, firm and unforgiving. Anyway, the book was an entertaining read, so thank you again. Keep sending me all the information you can find about this mysterious figure we both admire, your friend Claudia. He's pretty cool, but yeah, he did kill the Empress Corvo's <laughs> girlfriend, wife, mother of Emily, so... But he makes up for himself. It's hard. <laughs> I don't know. It's rough. Knife of Dunwall. Dodd stared at the blade. What is this freaking novel? Billy, yeah, Billy Lurk. Huh. That's weird. Yeah, we can read that if you want, but for now. A lot of good lore and such. Uh, the music the musicians are playing too. No reflections. Can I show the bathtub there? It does. Yeah, it's a reflection just without character in there. It's interesting. Good landscape little design for sure. Alrighty. There we go. It's a big tree, alright. That's one rune. What else we got here? Bone charm, another bone charm. Okay, I'm trying to get on early tomorrow. Out of time here today for most things. Lucia Pastor's mother. Best district. Bone charm. Not a drawer. Undertaker, that's just for bodies, right? Didn't already have that one? Move slightly faster while carrying a body. Could have sworn I Dang it! I keep, I keep doing that by accident. So I wanted to go to crafting. I could have sworn I've already had that one, but I've never really... I mean, it's helpful in that specific instance when you're carrying a body, but we can't just learn it from sacrificing it, so why not? New traits to learn. Get the whalebone. We do get whalebone from that, right? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> That's the one I crafted. Thanks. All right. Uh, mission items. Deliver. Oh, there's the key. Nice. We found the key. Now we can go back. That'll work. Ah, that's a perfect setup right there. Check this out. Oh shit. <laughs> okay, I got it. Yeah. Perfect way to break the fall. Knife in the neck for. Alright, let's see. Uh, what's in that delivery about? It looked like some decent stuff, so. Check it out. Ah, two. They killed the freaking crewman! That wasn't very nice. Yeah, now I have the key. This um, whole instance change. Why did you kill them? Where'd he go? Another disappearing gar? Can't be. He was right there! What is happening tonight? The guards are literally vanishing. 
That does not make sense, and I don't know why he killed these guys. Oh, there he is. There he is. But earlier, the captain really did run out of there. This was once my world. All things from the northernmost shores to here come up in the south. He moves the trunks and turns their pockets out. That's how he makes extra coin. Not anymore, he doesn't. Next to the guys you murdered. No reason. I guess you trying to rob them, yeah. Oh. Nothing I could do about it. I did it before I even got here. As soon as I got the key. All right. Let's see what this says. The audio graph. Oh, there we go. Very nice. Extra grenade. I can break that door open with it. But... Ivory scrimshaw. Better than Tivian prisons. That's the. That's the password. Great. Windows that ignore the tides and make both manifests and private door codes. Might be easier just to play it straight. Pick up the little goods. Anyway, so I don't forget it. The code for the black market shop <laughs> is the cool and wine. All right, you guys finish a little earlier tonight, but we'll get some great stuff early tomorrow. Okay, let's finish up a little more reconnaissance and in the palace. We have the black market now, so that'll be helpful. Right back to that. See those now. So quite easy. Those uh, stinger bolts or incendiary bolts. So Cover your face. We'll make the Grand Guard happy. Do they come? I saw we the code if we get back there. Just go around here. The spiky fence, yes. 
Sir Conan wine is better than Tibian prisons. Sir Conan wine is better than Tibian prisons. And better Crystallian clap than Morellian gout. All right. Black market burglar. I gotta rob a black market shop. Yeah, I can just have it all. I mean, it's for sale. Yeah, thank you. That'll work. That'll work. I need it more than you need your profits. I bet you your needs. But... You'd think they'd make more than four coins. <laughs> Which they charge for all that. No room this time. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's that, I guess. They just thought I was a delivery guy, so. Worked out. He asked him to lie, but he refused. Why cover your face? Are you worried someone might recognize you? Market. Well, we got a couple bolts. I don't know. Well, thank you. So, to get into the gates, we still don't actually have a way in, do we? What's going on here? To the gate, to the palace, I mean, that's the main entrance. And it's still protected up. Oh, howlers. Yeah, those are the howlers just happen to be there with the guards, really. I'm nobody. What do you want from me? Um, let me think here. Can't get in the Oh, it's disabled. All right. <laughs> Never mind. I guess we're good. There's uh, one more bone charm here. Oh, yeah. I can use the grenade. I don't know where the window was on the other side, so might as well just toss this one. targets. Let me read up on that one again. That is... Enemies sometimes drop grenades and thrown debris at their feet. Well, that's kind of silly, but <laughs> seems pretty good. Um, can do that instead of There's not too much I want to switch that out for. I guess I have plenty of health for now, so... Don't really need that. At the moment. Ah, oh, that's a pretty good one, though. They just drop grenades and they blow up. I mean, seems like that'd be... And they throw debris like the regular guard, so... It's just a little less to worry about. But drop assassination, I already have 10 health elixirs, so... Wait, what was that? <laughs> That's an entrance to the palace? Okay, we're going in this way. <laughs> From the apartment, that works. I hope I got everything there. We should be fine, yeah. It's first playthrough, we'll always do another one anyway. Hoping for multiple playthroughs, so. Yeah, should be good. We shall ensure multiple fun playthroughs, many different styles. But just for the first one, do whatever. All right, so this is a nice little Entrance kind of the same as the other one, I think. But we approach the palace. Beautiful. Alrighty. Yeah, it's just the other entrance, so it's really not much different, but if you didn't disable the security systems, I guess this is the best Fifth. one. Nobody's pestering us with forms and procedures anymore. 
We collect the fees we want, we give out the beatings when they're needed. Just don't want my kids growing up here. It's too dangerous. Then reapply next month. The command staff... New officers, new rules. Spread a few coins here and there. Honestly. Zoom out. That's kind of funny. Alright, let's, uh... Take care of them, I guess. Take the carriage over there, most likely. Looking forward to the low chaos player through too, which is honestly a bit easier for high chaos because Emily, you know, we did start with low chaos Emily, it was so hard just to get through the map. So we'll be having a little more patience when we do finish that one, but for now, I mean it was nice to do them all the way through, dozen ways the first dishonored low chaos and every achievement for that, but strange shit. Let's go to the carriage. Oh hello. Someone up there to say it'd be funny to throw down food at us. I got hit in the face with a pineapple. Then a whole <laughs> roasted pig came down and split the boat in half. It was raining apples and meat pies. All sorts of nice food floating around in the water. Damn. People in the city starving. Life's just not the same when you live up there, is it? You're smart. They play spits. He and the other gods. On which prisoner will cry first? He knows how to hurt them in a way that doesn't leave a mark. I am a lot. I've been a lot. And he says, yeah, but this doesn't. <laughs> Be the only way there, so here we go. That's a weird statue. It's alive. But it's so much familiar to me. Alrighty. Let's see what happens. You should be taking care of them. Conversation about keeping a vault key on him. Okay. What is all this racket? What was that? Get ready to feel pain, Your Eminence. Or 
world gets pretty deranged on High Chaos. There was really nothing like that in the first one, but I guess it was too early in his supernatural assassin career. Just started. Oh, man. It's interesting, though. All oh, these little briars. Statue. Submerge rage right here. It's a pretty good opportunity for that, you'd have to say. So let me just do that briefly. Oh, it's not deep enough. It's not even deep. Two guards were over here discussing who's going to protect Duke Lupel. This course tonight. Yeah, you have to actually be underwater for this tour. Delilah's spirits. Oh, nice. Fish out tonight. Help out. I'll be back again soon. Underwater. This doesn't count as underwater. I thought it would be deep. Oh, to the old fashioned way. Submerge rage. That's okay. That's close. Got half alerted somehow. Strange. Okay, I'll take it. <laughs> All right, perfect place to leave off for now. Hound right there. We shall carry on very shortly here. Pretty good stuff. The Grand Palace. Figure out all the other situations. It doesn't hurt to half alert them, I feel like. It's not a big deal. So we'll see. It's the stinging bolt, so it's not really <laughs> not lethal. Alright, back to Dishonored 2 shortly. Good stuff, guys. Gonna Dragon Raid for tonight. Thank you to Drago Eternal for chatting. And I'll see you much earlier tomorrow for our last day of September very last day of streaming on desktop for a good week so be back soon dragon raid for now thank you to any lurkers out there i'm gonna refresh the chat just in case for the raid here and we'll be back to it shortly thank you to fave a lot for lurking you people out there all right catch you soon back to it tomorrow bright and early gonna be great pick it up then guys fun stuff tonight back to more soon Dragon Ray for now, so have a good night. Back to it soon tomorrow. Catch you then, guys. Gonna be great. See you in a bit. All right. Fave a lot for lurking. You people out there. Alright, catch you soon. Back to it tomorrow, bright and early. Gonna be great. Pick it up then, guys. Fun stuff tonight. Back to more soon. Gonna have Dragon Ray for now, so. Have a good night. Back to it soon tomorrow. Catch you then, guys. Gonna be great. See you in a bit. Alright. Couple, couple weeks, I think. Uh, we gotta, we gotta create a little barrier between. Oh my God, Ace, Ace, how are you, man? Dragon Raid.
Guys, Ace is another awesome streamer that I've been watching and following for a good while. Go check him out. He's also writing screenplays, writing Dead by Daylight characters.